When I think of Sam Raimi, the before I did the deep dive on you, I would have never put Sam Raimi with a romantic sports drama <laughs> film. Um, but he did For the Love of the Game, uh, starring Kevin Costner. Um, in the movie, uh, let's just say your scene has a happy ending. Um, I was curious, when you're, when you're doing a scene like that, what measures are taken on set to, to keep a, a level of professionalism? Well, I, I actually have to take the blame for that scene because it was originally written that my hand was supposed to go under the towel on his back that I was massaging his back and then my hand would go under the towel and that would be the moment. Mm -hmm. I was a friend of Kevin's and we ran the rehearsal and then we broke for lunch and I pulled him aside and said, Kevin, you don't want them to shoot it like that. <laughs> and he said, why? And I said, cause your face is like this on the thing and, and you look like a wrinkle man. <laughs> And he said, well, what do we do? And I said, I don't know. I, I guess flip you over. I don't know. We, we have to rework this, but this can't be my idea. I'm a nobody, you know, I'm just telling you, go look in the mirror, do this in the mirror and see if that's what you want. And so we come back from lunch and, oh, everything's being reset. And, oh, Laura, can we talk to you? Here's a, we have a new idea and we'd like to run it by you. And I was like, oh, okay. So I've never told this story publicly because of course it's all been movie magic until this moment, but yeah, this is what really happened. So we go to shoot it and Sam is probably one of the dearest people I've ever met in my life and, and a little prudish. <laughs> and so when it came to the moment for the hand to slip under the towel, I don't know why I didn't do the math that that's of course gonna have a different body part in my hand Maybe Kevin did the math, but uh, he didn't. Yeah, I, I like how he was real coy about it. Oh, yeah, we can do it that way, yeah. When you were bringing it up, he's like, well, what, what do we do? I mean, there's only one other thing to do here. If you're not on your back, or if you're not on your stomach, you're on your back. What do we do? I about my friend's face, you know? Like, I wasn't thinking it the whole way through. Okay. So, so then it turns into all these conversations about how much credit to give him as I'm moving my hand. Because, you know, if you move your hand too much, it seems like you are making him into a, a rather, you're giving him too much credit. And if you don't move your hand enough, you're not giving him enough credit. And so, uh, you know, we had to work out all this. And Sam just was blushing in, in a corner and didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> so it wasn't at all what I'm used to. What I'm used to is that I've spent a lot of my career in my underwear and including that movie. And I'm used to people being pretty rough about it, you know, um, expecting me to be a good sport. And that's what I do. I just show up, I be a good sport and I, and I hope nothing goes seriously wrong. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and this was nothing like that. This was, um, it, it was like, he was so sensitive. He was so sensitive to the entire situation. <laughs> It's so ironic that Sam Raimi, who who spit seventy five gallons of blood into an actor's <laughs> face on Evil Dead, is fruit, but oh, a little sexy stuff that makes me uncomfortable. He's so dear. I'm telling you, he's one of my favorite people I ever worked with, and I would love to work with him again. Sam, if you're listening, I'd love to work with you again. He was amazing to work with. He was like so. He loves movies, and he's so kind, and he's he's very thoughtful, and he's a very very good actors director. He really knows how to talk to actors. And um, and I think that's because like Quentin, he used to be an actor. Yeah, when I, I watched all the behind the scenes documentaries on Evil Dead and that was something that I really appreciated about him was he has this, like when he's, when he's working on a film, he just has like, he's just joy is all over him. He just seems so happy to be doing what he's doing. And I yeah. guess the prudish thing kind of makes sense because even Evil Dead, it's still, it goes back to slapstick, Three Stooges style. So there's this innocence to all the blood and gore that's happening. It's almost so over the top that it's, that it's animated. And cartoonish. <laughs> Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer. 